Hi, Gunnar's Tantu. How are things? Ben from Bite Size Irish here. Now recently I was watching a documentary programme on Irish language television channel TG Cahar all about the history of whaling um, off the coast of Ireland and also about the current state of the whale and dolphin and basking shark population off the coast of Ireland. So that documentary is called Fahig na Farige, which means giants of the ocean. And there is a link in the description to the trailer for that programme if you'd like to have a look at it. But anyway, it got me thinking that it'd be nice to take a bite-sized look at how to say some terms associated with cetaceans, whales and dolphins in Irish. So we'll start with dolphin. If you want the Irish word for dolphin, it's simply delf. 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 The Irish term for porpoise is a little bit more colourful. It's muck, mara. Muck, mara. Muck, mara. So muck is a pig. And here mara means of the sea. So sea pig, porpoise. Moving on to the general term for whale. Neil Moore. Neil Moor. Meal. Moor. Whale. So the word meal just means generally creature or insect or indeed animal. When we combine it with moor, we have whale. Meal. Moor. So my kids, bless them, sometimes say to me, Daddy, you snore like a whale. And if you wanted to say that in Irish, you wanted to say, he does be snoring like a whale, talking generally here, we would say, Bean she ex srana ernos nil vur. Bean she ex srana ernos nil vur. Bean she ex srana ernos nil vur. So here, ex srana is snoring. Meal, the M-I father L, is that word meal, but after the compound preposition er nos, like, the noun is going into its genitive. So M-I father L, meal, like a whale, with the vur as well, changing from moor to vur. And without going into too much detail, that's because in Irish, the adjective follows the gender of the noun, the number of the noun, that's whether it's singular or plural, and also the case of the noun. Here, the case is the genitive. So moving on to different types of whale, we have meal moor gurum, that's the blue whale, meal moor gurum. And then another whale that you may get off the coast of Ireland is the fin whale. So this is Jim Etach. Jim etch. And again, Jim etch. So Jim here is back. Etch can mean winged or in this case finned. So finned back. And this et shows up in the word for plane in Irish aeroplane, etlo. And also in the verb to fly, etl whale that seems to be making a bit of a comeback off the west coast of Ireland too is the humpback whale. And the Irish for humpback whale is meal moor drunach. Meal moor drunach. And again, meal moor drunach. And again, this drunach here can mean humped or Hunchbacked, or indeed arched, or convex as well. So we'll finish today with a little expression in Irish that's similar to the English expression don't make a mountain out of a molehill. Now I don't know how old this expression is but its alliteration appeals to me, I quite like it, but I don't know if I should go so far as to call it a, a shanuckle or a traditional proverb. Nonetheless this one goes no den meal moor de beel tog. What this means is, 
don't make a whale out of a midge. So meal tog is the Irish for midge. Again, not in meal more, the veal tog. Transform your Irish language journey in one week. Take the Gaeilge Gach one week challenge starting Monday. It doesn't matter if you're just starting off coming back to Irish or you're already an active learner. Go to challenge.irish or click the link in the description.